You know uh, Disney, the Walt Disney uh, Company, uh, founded by uh, Walt and uh, Roy uh, Disney, uh, celebrated its hundred uh, anniversaries for all the stuff they made from the end, the movies uh, to the TV shows that we all uh, know and love or uh, grew up watching. And then they also uh, bought the company, uh, the, the newer people who uh, found the CEO that uh, they uh, bought from uh, other companies like National Geographic, uh, Star Wars, uh, Fox News, and uh, some other stuff. And also uh, publishing stuff like Bluey. Which, uh, you know, Bluey, the dog family, the healers, which, uh, there's, uh, the older, uh, sibling, uh, Bluey, which, and, uh, she's the old, older sister, while, uh, Bingo is the younger one, and then there's the, the dad, the bandit, and then the mom, uh, Chili. And it's based in uh, Australia, published by uh, Little Studios in Brisbane, Australia. Family friendly for uh, everyone to enjoy. There's a uh, thing, parts that kids can enjoy, and then there's parts that adults can relate to and uh, also enjoy off that. However, the Daily Wire, a political uh, talk show, uh, had a, heard about the 100 years of the anniversary and uh, they decided to um, make a thing called Benki, which is an entertainment uh, streaming platform, uh, which is off their, uh, the Daily Wire Plus uh, only currently available in USA. So who is the Daily Wire? Yeah. The Daily Wire is a Republican uh, Party uh, supporting uh, talk show uh, in uh, consisting of the uh, CEO uh, Jeremy Boring, who is also known for his uh, products that he uh, made that to uh, to counter other companies that. Uh, against uh, that support uh, Black Lives Matter and uh, LGB LGBTQ. And then there's like the main uh, talkers, uh, Ben Shapiro, Matt Walsh, uh, Michael Knowles, uh, Candace Owens, and uh, their youngest uh, member, 22-year-old uh, Brett Cooper. So all of them uh, voted for uh, Donald Trump uh, or uh, is supporting the Republican Party and uh, are against uh, anything that is deemed the Democratic Party or don't or middle party. So anything middle ground or Democrat, they don't like to talk, they will talk ill about it. So Ben Key was, uh, this, it was invented uh, on the same day, 100 uh, year anniversary. And the first uh, dirty thing they uh, ever did was uh, create something called Chip Chilla. That looks like this. Notice how it looks awfully familiar to uh, Bluey. This is Bluey. So what they're trying to do here is trying to imitate the design uh, and the characters. So they're trying to 
do it the pastel kind of style, but uh, the kids are uh, similar. Chip, Chilla is the older sibling, and then there's the younger sibling, and then uh, And then there's the mom, and then there's the, the dad reading the newspaper in the back. Which uh, Ben Shapiro and uh, Matt Walsh uh, shared it. And they were advertising uh, Ben Key. Uh, we're better than that Disney, the, whatever that Disney had been releasing in the next, recent couple of years. Uh, so they were like slandering that. So the parents uh the mom voice and forced by uh the matter of the former Broadway act actress uh, Laura Osnes and uh, actor and culture uh Warrior Warrior Rob Schneider uh the dad and then the, in uh advertisement uh if you uh look if you hear it the music is very similar to Bluey and they even do stuff like this Notice how uh, so there's the mom and the dad for reference. Oh wait, but there's the kids. Well, it's likely um, Chip, and then there's the and then there's the sibling, and then wait a second, is that Muffin? If you have ever watched uh, Bluey. Even like the shorts that, that has been shared on YouTube or Facebook or whatever you end up uh, seeing uh, Bluey. You know that the closest uh, friend uh, or one of the closest friends uh, of uh, Bluey and Bingo is uh, Muffin. And they're imitating that. They're, they are imitating that. So the Daily Wire uh, and uh, the Ben Key uh, can, can be called out for this. They, be, they can be called out for this. People saw this and they were like, that's a copy. And while uh, the all the characters are dogs and bluey, the chinchillas are the ones uh, that were the characters in this ripoff show. Well, all chinchillas are native to uh, South America, although people are keeping it as uh, pets or uh, they're in zoos and everything. So Jeremy Boring uh, made uh, this uh, statement uh, saying, Kids go to school for 40 hours a week and then they engage in pop culture for 40 or more hours every week. That means for 80 hours of a child week, you are turning them over then to the left. A good parent uh, might spend 15 minutes a day in meaningful conversation with the kids. A great parent uh, might take their kid to church for one hour or two hours or three hours a week. The other 80, they're watching Disney, they're online, they're in public schools. And that release of Ben Q was the reason uh, was uh, Jeremy Boring uh, claimed that uh, pushes all the worst excess of the work left uh, and the Disney public opposition to Florida's parental rights and education measure, also known as the Don't Say Gay law. And kids, uh, not every kid is uh, interested in uh, what goes on in the social media. And uh, remember, not every problematic thing that is happening on in the world in the USA is uh, caused by the Democratic Party. It's also caused by the Republican Party.
and people are so uh, focused on uh, go Trump, go Biden, instead of uh, how can we make this issue that's brought by to two parties and merge it, meet in the middle, and how can we solve this to make USA a better country to live in? Because the USA has uh, been, uh, USA has uh, been uh, known for a lot of uh, bad things, even like uh, tourists are like inconsiderate. All about me. Expect everyone to know English. And uh, it's not Disney that's causing all the problems. Uh, Also, uh, what uh, you might be watching uh, on uh, on television uh, could also make you stupid, uh, as people have said. said and uh, it's not just Disney that's been doing it. Nickelodeon's been doing it. Remember the SpongeBob days, and then also Cartoon Network had uh, they made some spin-offs of the original. They made them remakes, and uh, people have uh, said that uh, they would rather prefer the. Uh, Original Teen Titan uh, instead of uh, the Teen Titans Go. And then there's also some accusations uh, about uh, how uh, pe people, uh, the priests at the church, are grooming kids. And while uh, some members of the Daily Wire are uh, religious, uh, you can't force religion on everyone. And while uh, he said in the statement, uh, Ben Key is about teaching kids politics, about childhood wonder and adventure, it's about the values and all the things that which politics are built later. And yet, the Daily Wire is uh, famously known for Republican Party stuff. And uh, when uh, the people uh, over at uh, Daily Wire shared uh, the Bluey ripoff, One person said, uh, from the sixth episode I've watched, I can say the worst the sin uh, Chick Chilla commits is to be a bit dull, at least for this adult. Uh, this, if it's a mission as uh, they're sus suspected to take bullies, winning formula and put a conservative Washington, it's uh, subtle. And the people over it. Ludo Studios uh, in Brisbane, they have uh, not uh, replied to any uh, copyright claims, uh, although this is a copyright. But wait, there's also some other people that also tried to copy up uh, Disney uh, and no it's not pe the producers uh, who uh, who have worked on uh, Nickelodeon uh, Cartoon Network and uh, Disney or HBO there was this thing called uh, the Dingo Channel and no, not the Dingo Channel from iCarly. When they're in the original iCarly episode where uh, the Dingo Channel people are in the boardroom uh, trying to come up with ideas to... ideas uh, we can steal from iCarly. And then uh, iCarly uh, people uh, who crew show up and then uh, force them to not copy us ever again. And there was also some uh, hints uh, 
about uh, what happened to uh, Walt Disney. But so they made an imitation for that uh, in that episode. But there was actually a Dingo channel that was imitating uh, when the Disney uh, started the Disney Channel. So they were literally copying uh, anything uh, that Disney was creating off uh, Disney Channel. And uh, Walt Disney uh, Studios uh, people found out about it. So they had to uh, sue them. So the Dingo Studios, the people, they... They gave up. Because they copied uh, someone else's work. And of course, you wouldn't like it if uh, someone was literally tracing over your work. Uh, or they would look at uh, what you did. Take notes of it. Make a production, similar storyline, characters look sort of different, but it's the same thing. That's copyright infringement. And we can be sure that uh, we can uh, hold uh, the Daily Wire accountable for copyright. An infringement for trying to imitate uh, Bluey, a family-friendly show, and uh, this is being done by a political talk show people that don't know how to do entertainment. And the fact that uh, the Daily Wire plus uh, people are uh, trying to uh, stream uh, in next year, Snow White. And the Seven Dwarves, uh, with their version, called uh, Snow White versus and the Evil Queen, which uh, Brett Cooper is going to be playing Snow White, uh, and she actually fits the description very because of uh, all the actresses who have uh, played the uh, Snow White or voiced uh, Snow White uh, have been white, the Caucasian. So she fits the description. So, uh, and this was uh, coming right after uh, the Rachel Zegler uh, issue, uh, which had been scrapped and may upload, may uh, show up in theaters uh, next year by Disney. And there's no note on who's going to play the Seven Dwarves and who's going to play the Evil Queen. And of course, it can't be the Candace Owens. Uh, otherwise. Uh, the Daily Water would be going against their wishes of a uh, stick to the script. Although they're they're literally copying s someone else's work. So if someone from the Daily Wire is watching this, uh, they should really just scrap it. And if they're going to make do content on Benki, they better not make original content and stop copying other people's work. Because also, especially the stuff about AI these days. Uh, especially during the media, whether you're a singer or DJ. And you won't be copying your beats. And you'll be trying to imitate your voice through trying to make a, a, some song up. And people will going to be like looking up on uh, YouTube or... Uh, SoundCloud, and uh, they're going to be like, "Ooh, this, is, ooh, this sounds pretty hip. I wonder if uh, actually this person actually made this, and they, uh, it doesn't show up." And then the thing, musician, like, "We didn't make that." Or if you're an actor or actress, uh, and uh, you did not give your permission for your voice uh, 
or you to be featured in the production media production that you did not agree to. Because we also have AI as a factor these days. And the Daily Wire needs to be held accountable for copyright infringement. Because if uh, the Dingle uh, Channel people got caught for co copying uh, what was on the Disney Channel, which if uh, the production like uh, High School Musical, which originally starred uh, Zac Efron and uh, some Vanessa Hudgens and some other people. And there was like a remake of it, but it was under the Disney label. That's different. Because there's high school musical, the musical, but with new actors and actresses. And it's under the Disney Channel brand. Of course, they're not going to bring uh, Wizard of the Waverly Placement because uh, they only, there's only one Selena Gomez and she rocked it. But this was also secondly published by Disney. Not just uh, Ludo Studios uh, over in... Uh, Brisbane, Australia. And when th there has been people who have uh, tried to steal stuff, even soundtracks that were on uh, on movies by Disney or Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network. And guess what happened? Lawsuit. So if you want to support the real people, continue watching Bluey because they're awesome. Everything uh, that comes out of the, every single episode is uh, pretty fun. Uh, no matter what your age is, and uh, even, even parents can uh, admit it. All around to stay up late uh, watching uh, Bluey uh, because there's stuff in it that I watch that my kid wouldn't be. I wouldn't want to ask have my kids asking everything. What that what that mean? So don't uh, support the Daily Wire because they don't know how to make uh, media productions. Other than talking political, support the real people, not the copycats.